Hi everyone, my name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. And this is our weekly video blog update and check-in for the week of June 17th, 2013. This is uh, check-in number or video blog number 17 for us. And uh, the purpose of our organization, for those who don't already know, is to create open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources for the creation of self-sufficient, self-replicating, and self-sustainable teacher demonstration villages, cities, communities, and hubs to be built around the world. And our ultimate purpose in doing that is to give people that are interested an opportunity in how to make a change in the world. That's really what we want to do. So this is our video update. I think this is probably going to be a pretty short one, um, mainly because most of our updates were in 3D graphics. But before I get into that kind of stuff, well, I'll give you the quick overview and then I'll go into a little bit more detail. So the overview of what we accomplished in the last week uh, for one community is we completed the tools and equipment projections page for one for the Earthbag Village, which is pod one or the first village that we will be building. That page covers all the tools and equipment necessary to build one dome home, three dome homes, and then the complete uh, all of the domes for the Earthbag Village. We also got 10 more plants up on the large scale Aquapini uh, planting guide and harvesting page. We've uh, done some huge, gotten some huge progress thanks to the help of Ziggy and the RBE10K project on the large scale Aquapini. And so images of those will be up on the link. As always, uh, if you click on the link down in the description of the YouTube video, it'll take you to that page and you can see the actual images of what we're talking about because we always do a companion written blog. And then uh, we've also gotten 3D, a lot of 3D, beautiful 3D Earth Village. Uh, progress and tropical atrium progress done this last week and then uh, progress on the 3d Sego center city hub behind the scenes we've got a whole bunch more work that's been done on the tropical atrium formatting that'll come up this week we've got a whole bunch more work that's been done on the education for life program but the big highlights of what we've accomplished this week we're completing the tools and equipment project page uh, 3d on the large scale aquapini um, 3d on the earth village and the tropical atrium progress and then um, some 3D Sego Center City Hub progress, which uh, I won't post a picture this week, mainly because most of that stuff happened behind the scenes. So that's our update. Um, let me go into a little bit more detail. As always, pictures are in the blog link down below if you'd like to see that, if you'd like to read a written blog about all this stuff and has links to the open source hubs and all the details. And so um, starting from the top, the biggest thing, the biggest action item, which is a culmination of weeks and weeks and weeks of work from the team to get it up is the equipment and tools projections page. And so what that page is specifically, and you can click on the link in the video and the written blog, is a page describing everything that's necessary, every single tool that's necessary. If you're going to start from scratch, if you're going to buy everything from gloves to wheelbarrows to um, mixers, cement mixers, everything that you need from an equipment and tool standpoint to build the complete earth bag village, all the domes rather. We still need to check and see if we've missed some tools. I'm sure we have for the tropical atrium and things like that, but we're going to separate them out into individual sections. And so the earth bag village, the dome aspect of the earth bag village um, tools and equipment page is complete. And you can check that on the website. It's amazing. It's got links for everything that's on there. And then when we're ready to actually purchase all of these equipment uh, pieces and everything, we'll actually be contacting all of the different suppliers for all the different equipment and we'll be working on deals to try and organize uh, a select provider for all of this that has global distribution in the case of anything that you would want to order and have, have delivered to you versus purchasing locally. We're going to want to build the relationships with those organizations so that people that want to build future teacher demonstration earth bag villages know exactly where to go and they can get a better price by going direct to the producer than anywhere else. And so we want to become the marketing engine for all these different organizations that are willing to endorse the highest good for all philosophy, which is what our organization is all about, that are interested in supporting the idea of building teacher demonstration open source hubs, and uh, are willing to really provide for the consumer in a way that, that um, the consumer can't get anywhere else. And the reason why a producer would want to do this is because the, the marketing and the business that they would be receiving from us marketing what we're doing and marketing them as the provider that we would recommend is free. They don't have to pay anything for that. 
And so all we ask is that they be able to provide the consumer with a better, a better, um, a more value than they could get anywhere else. And so this is one of those big key components that we see to what it is that we're doing and the open source project launch blueprinting process is not only saying, hey, here's how you build something, but whenever possible, building the relationships to, to make it easier for the consumer to order, for anybody who wants to do this to order the products and to get a better price on the products. So that page is up. Um, the other big, big, huge progress is we've got 10 more plants up in large scale. Aquapini page, which you can check out and see what those look like. It's evolving beautifully. And then, uh, and all the work is actually done on that now. Behind the scenes, we're just editing it. And as we edit them, we'll put them up at 10 or 20 at a time. Um, and then 3D on the large scale uh, production Aquapini has also progressed immensely, thanks to the work, as I said before, of Ziggy and the RBE 10K project. And uh, check out the images on that. The, the progress on it is amazing. Avery Ellis is also helping us. He's our aquaponics uh, expert and primary consultant. And so he's checking in, checking the plumbing and looking at all that. And we hope to have, I would love to, I would love to think that we might have the 3D done, completely done with that in the next couple of weeks. And then we'll build out the complete food infrastructure 3D so you can see the central water catchment and start working on all those details. But first step is to finish the large scale aquapini and um, we're pretty darn close. We're just dialing in those last details. So check out the images that on the written blog. And then um, I'll post images also of the earth bag village and what's happening with that thanks to the help of Devin Porter who has now taken the tropical atrium and the earth bag domes and he's starting to put together the whole central area for the earth bag village. We've got some amazing progress on that. We also have these in CAD now thanks to the amazing work of John Bassist and so um, this is a huge, huge progress. I mean, we're getting to the point where we'll have the whole 3D Earth Village where you can walk around in it, but you can see the basics of it now coming into place. And then we start dialing in the windows and we start dialing in the patios and things like that in this next generation of 3D that builds on top of everything that we've done with CAD. And so that's exciting. And then last but certainly not least is uh, the Sego Center City Hub. And the Sego Center City Hub progress that we've had, the main progress that we've had in this last week is one of our team is starting to learn how to do the 3D graphics so that he can work directly with the two lead architects on that project and get this whole thing moving faster. And as part of that process, we identified, we, we finally created the domes. We had the domes before, but they were, they were more, it was a texture on the domes. We didn't have domes where we could replace individual panels put in individual windows, start shaping the different entryways and things like that based on removing the different sections of the geodesic dome. And so we finally identified that. And we found it, we sized it, we've got it dropped in to sketch up. And so we're starting to work with that in that 3D environment with the, the, this piece that we really, really needed. And so um, I'm not gonna post an image because it's actually less exciting than it looked before we found those because the previous one had some texture and stuff on it and this one is more raw um, but I can say from our end that it's crazy exciting because it's the next step that's necessary for bringing this thing forward and um, and being able to really show you exactly what this Sego Center duplicable city hub is going to look like and so that's our big update you know and the point of all of this stuff oh one other thing is is you know now we're starting there as as we're also working on the Sego Center in in SketchUp, which is more of a user-friendly, anybody can get, download SketchUp for free and start designing in SketchUp for, with that application. It's very, very easy and intuitive to use. But we're also, we also have somebody who's helping us, Radu from Romania, who is now helping us do a presentation of the Sego Center in 3D Max, which is more of a video type, totally professional presentation. And he's a newest partner with our organization. He's a sustainability um, specialist uh, with a lot of background in education and sustainability and he's then took his sustainability knowledge and he start, he got himself trained in uh, 3D graphics design and so this is actually his final school project and we're partnered with him, we're partnered with his school as well in Romania and he's going to spend about the next two to three months putting together a full-on real-to-life presentation of the Sego Center that will be a video presentation that will literally walk through and tour the Sego Center and everything that this city center is meant to represent. What it's, how this city, this duplicable city hub, this open source duplicable city hub is meant to be a component of the fulfilled way of living, this new way of living 
that one community is promoting. Or it could just be an ecotourism resort on its own. Um, it doesn't have to be a city center. It could, it could represent just a, a business, a super sustainable LEED Platinum certified business structure that could be built anywhere in the world. And so we're doing all the groundwork and all the architecture and all the, all the details on that stuff are coming together. And so we're excited to be putting out the 3D which is the next step for us because we've got a little bit of engineering still that needs to be done on the cupola. And so once we've got the 3D done, then we can really engage engineers because the CAD is done and those structural details are done, but we've still got to dial in uh, the last details of the engineering. So if anybody knows a structural engineer that would like to help us with that, that would be a great way to refer somebody to our project. We've had uh, a civil engineer and we've had a couple people that a couple other engineers look at it that and have said, uh, structural engineers have said, yes, this is going to work, but actually finding somebody to do all the calculations and work out all those details for us is, a, is something that we still need to do. So if anybody knows anything, it would be a great way to help out our project would be to direct somebody to us that could do that. And um, yeah, that's our complete update. You know, the whole purpose of this, as I said at the beginning, what we're doing is to give people an opportunity, people that are asking how to make a change in the world. And we believe that the best way to make a change in the world is to provide something that makes a change in people's individual lives, that um, really caters to individual needs and values and makes a difference in, in the individual's life while simultaneously making a difference in the world. And so that's what the whole one community model is about, is saying, okay, well, let's put all these pieces together. Let's go a lot farther than just saying, we want to change the world. Let's go a lot farther than just saying, well, we want to live sustainably. Let's go a lot farther than just saying, hey, we want to live a more fulfilled life. Let's put it all together. Let's put it together with more, better quality food than you can buy in the grocery store and more food diversity than you can buy in the grocery store. Look at the food that we're planting in large-scale aquapini. A lot of this stuff you cannot buy in your standard grocery stores, and it's amazing food. We're promoting a level of diversity that we want to continue, to, we want to not only promote it, but we want to maintain biodiversity and support some of these plants that in some cases, some of the stuff that we'll be planting in there is going extinct on this planet. It can't even be found in the wild. And so if you read the details of these plants that we're choosing, um, a lot of thought has gone into this. It is being designed with precision and intent, and it's just one piece, right? How to make a difference in the world while well, that's, that's cool. That is one way to make a difference in the world. But if we're really looking at the highest good for all, and our goal is to truly hit a home run with this project and, and, and transform this planet like we know is possible, to facilitate the shift that is happening to a whole new level of creation and um, celebration of what humanity is capable of for the benefit of everyone, all life on this planet, then that's just one piece. You know, and so we're taking that and putting it together with do-it-yourself sustainable housing that's more affordable and it lasts longer. We're putting it together with sustainable energy. Now, on top of that, we have a whole social architecture and self-governance system and a resource-based economy model that's all built together with that plus an open source and free shared education program. And we have an application that we've designed specifically for the whole city and the village, which is, is also being designed to track all of this, to keep track of it, to provide objective data on everything that we're doing to provide objective data on the tools that we're using for each component of the project as we build it out to provide objective data on what fulfilled living really means like what is the average lifestyle of somebody living in a community model like this what does it look like how much time is going into open source creation how much time is going into building the different village malls exactly how much time did it take to build the earth bag village how much time did it take to build the straw bale village how much time did it take just to build the tropical atrium We've actually created open source software that we're evolving to be able to track all of these details that will be a village operating software as well for those who want to use it. And so when we talk about how to make a change in the world, that's what we're talking about. We mean a complete evaluation and addressing of life as a whole, every aspect of it, and then open sourcing and free sharing it so that People can take the pieces that they like and use them, take the pieces that they don't like and throw them out, put it together as puzzle pieces in the way that works best for them, and then create infinite iterations of what it is that we're doing, different iterations of what it is that we're doing in the way that works best for them. 
And so that's our highest good for all philosophy is saying, okay, here's what we're doing. We don't believe that this is the best way. We definitely don't think that it's the only way. And, you know, if you like the way that we're doing it, then we're going to teach you how to do it exactly the way that we are. Every piece of what we're doing, we're creating it so it can be completely duplicable without patents, without copyrights, without limits of use of any kind. Matter of fact, we'll, we'll do the, our best to continue to produce information to answer the questions that we get, to make it even clearer, to make it even easier. And then we will build a global collaborative with the producers of the materials, the equipment, the tools, and everything that I was talking about, as well as the producers, producers of the materials that are necessary, the raw materials that are necessary, and then as well as all of the people out there that are interested in collaborating with us bringing it all together as one central hub and running a marketing engine to promote everybody that's on board with the idea of the highest good for all society and doing what's right. And we're doing this because we believe that even just a few people, I mean, like, if we were to have point, if we were to have point oh one percent of the population thinking this way, it could change the world. Change the world. That's how we feel. And so we want to make it as easy as possible because we believe if we make it easy enough, if we make it affordable enough, if we demystify the, pro the, the process enough, then the people that are really thinking about saying, how can I make a change in the world? People that are really thinking about saying, you know, how can I make a change in my own life? I want something different. I would like a new way to live. I would like a different option than what's existing right now. That's what we're delivering. That's what we want to do. We want to say, if you're somebody that's looking for a different option, we want to clear the path and make that as easy as possible. And our highest good for philosophy, highest good for all philosophy is, is that if we really think about it from the highest good for all perspective in every single thing that we do, then anybody that uses any single piece, no matter how small of what one community is creating, anybody that uses any little piece of that will also be contributing to the highest good for all. They'll be helping to spread the ideas. And so that's why, that's why we're doing what we're doing. And so you know, I kind of give a different version of this every single week when I give these, these, tutor these, uh, these updates because I just want to get the idea out there. I would love, nothing would make one community and our organization, our partners and our collaborators happier than to see more and more people get involved with these ideas and not necessarily even our project, just the idea and moving it forward. Because for those of us that see the path, that's possible, it's so obvious, it's so obvious. And it's exciting to be a part of the change. It's fun to be a part of the change. And it's a lot of work to be a part of the change. And so with that, I will sign off. I will say thank you. I said this will be a short one. Look at that, 17 minutes and 45 seconds, definitely not short. And I will say thank you as always. Please, if you like what we're doing, if you want to stay up to date, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, join us on our Facebook page. Uh, one Community uh, Fans, facebook.com forward slash One Community Fans or forward slash One Community Updates. And check us out there. And of course, um, consider if you're really, really passionate about what it is that we're doing and you think that you have something that you could, uh, that we could work on together and that you could provide to, to help move the project forward, consider joining us as a consultant, as a partner, or of course, our pioneer team is always looking for well-qualified members to join an elite group of people and to be the ones that actually move onto the property and build everything that we're putting all this time and energy into right now. So with that, I will say thank you, goodbye, and until next week.